Hi, um, here we go, ready for um, a Facebook Live talking about Season 5, Episode 1. So let's just wait for some people to join us, but um, I'll get started anyway. Um, I've written a couple of notes down just um, in case I get a little bit confused throughout the day, at uh, the night, um, and what we want to talk about. So I've written some things down that some people have asked me um, or what other people want to talk about so um, but okay well, let's start talking about episode one um, it all started with um, B's memorial um, people finding out about her her dying I guess you could say um, and <laughs> hello Amber and yeah so um, my thoughts on that were um, it was kind of a little bit rushed I guess but um, I don't know like it was kind of enough for me in the way I, I bawled my eyes out from the beginning so I don't know if I could have handled any more of seeing the the cast or you know the, the girls all upset um, and having to deal with that situation so um, how was the freaks fr uh, the freaks fight um, yeah that was pretty pretty full-on but I'll touch that in a minute um, yeah, so I think I really wanted to see, like, hear their reactions because obviously they had the the music going on, um, you know, over over everyone uh, finding out and and you know the memorial. So um, yeah, I, th I think I just wanted to hear them upset as well, really um, hear their emotions and actually be told that she was was dead as well. So. I don't know. I think we just kind of needed more. Hi, Kara. Um, I think we just needed a little bit more. Um, but at the same point, I was kind of happy with how much they showed because I was a, a blubbering mess as it was. So kind of happy. With, kind of happy. Kind of wish there was more. Um, what did everyone think about um, Frankie being there with Ali? I didn't mind that. I thought that was quite sweet that um, someone from the outside was there. We kind of knew that the mysterious person at the end of the bed was going to be Frankie. We all knew that anyway. Um, I think it'll be nice to see five minutes in and I was crying, Danny. Yep, me too. I, I hid from my partner so um, she couldn't see me crying. <laughs> she knew I was crying anyway. But um, yeah, so I had to hide my face because I was a blubbering mess. I probably would have been ugly crying if she wasn't there with me. Um, yeah, so I really liked the fact that Frankie was um, in Ali's hospital room. Um, I think that just really showed Bees and Frankie's friendship, that Frankie was um, able to be there for Ali. Um, and I'm assuming that we're going to see see them, t uh, you know, work together. Well, I know you were crying too, Amber, but, you know, we don't need to see each other ugly crying. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, I really liked some of the scenes, how they, um, hi Carol, um, I really liked some of the scenes, how they kind of mirrored it from other seasons, so I really liked how um, Ali came in when she came back from prison and, you know, came into H Block and it was obviously very similar to the first time she, um, came, you know, met B. so I really liked how they, how they did that. Um, I noticed there was another scene that they did that with, with um, Joan when she lifted up Ali in the fight um, around the neck and, you know, that reminded me of when she was with Jess in in the, you know, basement or whatever. But, um, yeah, so good to see that I wasn't the only one bawling from the beginning. Good to see that I wasn't the only one crying. Um, so I'm just looking at some of the notes that I've written because I don't want to forget anything that I was sort of thinking. Um, so, yes, I really love B and Ali together as well. Um, B and Ali, of course I did. I mean, B, uh, Ali and Frankie. Um, I think we'll def definitely see more, but I don't want to. I really don't want to see them together romantically. I think that would be a bit gross. Um, you know, it, it. Well, one Bridget's still on the scene, and I think they both respected B more than to you know to to hook up. And if the writers go there, I would be so disappointed because um, that's. That's way too predictable. But that's me. There's, I know there's a few people that want to see Frally, 
I definitely don't. So no frilly for me. Um, that's just gross. Um, you have to wait for Netflix. Yes, Sandra. Sorry, you have to wait for Netflix, but it will be worth it. It'll be worth it. And remember, when you're watching it on Netflix and all those sorts of things, and not just online illegally, um, you know, you're really supporting the show. So just keep that in mind when you have to wait. Um, Debbie, no frowly for you. Good. I like that. Um, I, uh, we, we had totally picked it up on um, Twitter. We had a conversation about that Ali would come back to the prison and she would cry into that red blanket. We totally picked it. We totally knew it was going to happen. But it was still heartbreaking to see. Um, it just reminded me of when when B was crying into her um, into her blanket when um, you know when her and Ali were having a bit of issues in the beginning. Um, you know, and then of course we had Kaz's no violence rule. Um, I don't think that's going to end well. I I like Kaz, and I've said that in my last live um, live chat. I do like Kaz, and I like Tammy McIntosh, which is of course why I like Kaz. Um, but you're not going to last as top dog by by just saying no violence. Um, yeah, I just don't think that ghosting people will will last. Um, you know, it's how's that going to help? Um, Someone on Facebook had, I think it was on, on, on his Facebook page, had said maybe maybe the punishment would be no dessert that night. So I don't really know how, um, yeah, what, how are you going to enforce the, the no violence rule? Um, how, how are you going to deal with people when they are violent? Um, Wentworth is way better than Orange is New Black. I agree, Sophia. And Kaz annoys you. Yeah, Kaz isn't for everybody. Um, I don't think she'll be top dog. But, you know, I, I, I do like her as a character. Um, okay, so let's talk about the fight scene with um, Ali and Joan. Um, I kind of wanted to see Joan get, like, a little bit of punishment somehow. You know, like, not a full beating, but she needed a little bit of, um, well, just a little bit of something. Um, you know... It was as a, yeah, as a B fan, I just really wanted at least Ali to get that one smack with that ball sock. Um, I that scene was weak. I was disappointed. Oh, what scene, Kara? The fight scene. Um, I just yeah, I it was very one sided to Joan and people were like oh she how would she have possibly had that much you know strength and and when did she become a ninja? And we've got to remember that she was actually trained as a guard, so of course she's going to have to know some move, moves, um, and she did fencing and all that. So that's fine. Um, but yeah, I, I think Ali should have at least got one good smack in. Um, you know, she, I know she got smacked in the face once, but I don't know. It just, yeah, I agree. It was a little bit weak in the way that it was way too one-sided. Um, and I know it shows her strength and everything, but... Yeah, I don't know. It was a bit disappointing for me, just especially as a B fan, because she need needed to have a little bit of bit of something. Um, but of course, it did show Pamela Rabe. I'll say that for sure. She's a hundred percent. She's brilliant. She, you know, what an amazing actress. Um, okay, so who is this lady? I'm assuming that means me. So my name's Leah, and I run this Wentworth page. Um, and I just thought as a cool way to interact with you guys throughout the season, um, I will try and do this one hour. So limited, I'm doing a one hour um, question and answer with you guys. So either question and answer, well, question and answer, some of my thoughts, theories, um, and just, you know, some sort of things like that. Um, but yeah, anything you want me to talk about, I've sort of written out down a few things that other people have asked me about, so I'll talk to you about that. And, um, yeah, and obviously answer any questions as I sort of see them come up as well. Um, all right, so I loved seeing Frankie back. Who wouldn't love seeing Frankie back on our screens? And, you know, we really missed seeing her on season four. I think after our season three, like really seeing Frankie develop so much and really become, you know, a calmer side of itself, it was nice 
it was nice to see Frankie back um, after only seeing her a couple of episodes last season. But I really, I'm really disappointed with the fact that Frankie was, um, well, spoiler alert, obviously, um, I'm really disappointed that she was arrested in the in the last scene of the, the this season, this episode. So. Um, I'm ready for more Frankie, but I'm just disappointed that she, well, I assume will go back to Wentworth so soon. I was thinking, you know, maybe at the end of the season or maybe in mid-season. Um, they, what they should have done, they should have, well, it would have been nice to see that whole story with Mike, Mike, Michael. Um, that would have been nice to see, even just go through one more se one more episode just to see how much of a creep he really was, how much of a stalker he was, etc, etc. Do you think Vera will get in the shit at all for changing the board in B's room with the screwdriver hole and getting rid of the phone? Um, good one, Jacqueline. Uh, who knows? The, the bloody governor seemed to get away with murder, pretty much. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. We'll wait and see. I think Vera will pay at some point throughout the season or at some point but yeah that was a good that's a good question um i think joan was involved in frankie's being arrested um possibly we're not sure oh thank you so much for saying that who was that tamara did you notice that the wrong actor who played mike wasn't the original guy from season one totally different guy yes and it actually really bothered me like Come on, is it that hard? I mean, I get that, you know, they probably weren't expecting that same, you know, that same character to come back, but, oh, it really bothered me too. So really good question there. Um, will Jake the Snake ever be caught for killing Nils? Um, you don't know. You just honestly don't know with this show. Um, look, I think they all need to pay for every... Like, they've all done something, haven't they? So well, are they all going to end up in jail? Um, you know, they've all been a bit dodgy so I don't know who who knows if they if they're gonna um, you know get found out possibly but you know we can't have everyone sent off to jail then there'd be no show maybe that will have that's what will happen at the very end <laughs> of the, the series altogether everyone just ends up in jail um, all right do you think that this is the last season everyone is leaving um, well, I've heard, I'm pretty sure at the um, screening that they had in Sydney um, that they had said that they're halfway through writing season six. I don't think anything's been announced yet. I don't, I don't know. I just heard that they're, they're writing season six. So I don't know if that means they're writing it just in case to wait and see or, or what the goal is. But, I mean, someone obviously said that, um, whether it was the writers or producer. I'm not sure who actually announced that. Um, Frankie and Ali to team, uh, team up to get the freak, Sam. Um, yeah, so I think that's probably what's going to happen. I think Ali and Frankie will probably team up now that Ali, uh, Frankie's probably going to end up back in prison. Um, but I don't know. I'm kind of hoping that it's like a, a, a joint effort from, from a few people. Maybe that's how they can get away with who, who does it um, because they kind of all have a bit of a, a bit of a turn. Um, I think I remember in season three when they, the, you know, sort of the fall of Joan, how, um, you know, they had Fletch in on it and B was in on it and a few, you know, however, I think that's what needs to happen to get to, to, you know, to really get to Joan, it, it needs to be more than one person trying to get at her. So, I'm hoping as time goes on and, and everyone sort of gets hell-bent on revenge, I'm hoping that, yeah, everyone will come together for, for the cause and that's how we'll deal with Joan. But we'll wait and see. Who knows, this season could really just go anywhere. Um, I think, sorry, I'm just reading through some of the things that people had asked me. Oh, how will Frankie prove her innocence? So, um... Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully, somehow, um, someone mentioned about that—the the witness to when Mike came at her in the car. Um, maybe that person's a witness that will help her innocence. But um, I think that's another just sort of wait and see. We'll talk about it as the season goes on and see how we go from there. 
I think Vera trusts Jake. Sorry, I'm just going to scroll back. Um, way too much from Jennifer. Yeah, I think... Um, but Vera's always been very naive and, you know, she just wants someone to show that love and attention. So, you know, she's got that with Jake. So, yeah, I, I think that... Um, yeah, she, of course she's too trusting of Jake. But I, th I think that's just because... Um, you know that's just how she is so I don't I don't I don't know where that will go yet hopefully at some point she'll see um, you know what what he's really like if you could see one actor go into the jail who would it be um, I actually answered this in my last live um, Q&A um, but I would really like to see Jolene Anderson in um, she's from Rush she's been on Rush also with, with Nicole um, and or Simone Jade McKinnon. So that'd probably be my top two. So if you don't know who Simone Jade McKinnon, in, McKinnon is, she played Stevie on um, McLeod's Daughters and also um, Jolene Anderson, she played um, on Rush as one of the police officers and she was also on All Saints. So yeah, two, well, three shows really that you could check out. All right, Sarah, do you think Oh, it's all going so fast. Do you think they should introduce some new prisoners who join you, maybe from her last prison post, who would also like to get some kind of, I'm assuming that says revenge. Um, yeah, they could. Um, that's definitely one way to bring in more characters and hopefully people that, I, mean, I guess everyone knows what Joan's like now. So, I don't know, she just seems to get away with everything and it's just starting to piss me off. So, I'm hoping by the end of the season she stops getting away with everything and her crappy behaviour. Ali, you're catching up slowly. Well, good. <laughs> you got to hurry up so we, you know you, you don't get too many spoilers from me. Thoughts on Sonia? Um, subtle psycho and excited to see her storyline progress. Yeah, I think we're going to see lots from her this season. I think it's kind of brewing. So, you know, it's not just like a surprise, like bang, here she is. I think it's just going to slowly brew and then we're going to see more and more of her, her craziness. So um, we'll wait and see what happens there. Um, oh, someone mentioned why wasn't anything ever said about how Joan tried to kill B in the last season. Remember when she was trying to drown her? Why hasn't that, that not come up again? So surely Kaz, like, does Kaz not remember the conversation she had where Joan wanted to kill her? So how come that hasn't come out again? Is that going to come out again this season? That might help. Um, take Joan down so yeah a couple of like there seems to be like a few plot holes I guess you could say but maybe some of these things will come up throughout the season so um, we'll see what happens there um, Jen hey Leah did you organize that awesome bridge the gap donation for Dan's birthday yes I did um, that was me I um, fell in love with bridge the gap project while I was on maternity leave and um, thought a good way to donate some money from everyone around the world was to, um, um, you know, to start up this birthday fundraiser. And I was kind of hoping for two thousand dollars. I thought that would be awesome. And with all the love and support from you guys, we um, managed to raise over ten thousand dollars. So, yep, it was me that did that. Um, so yeah. Um, just trying to see some of these comments. Is B actually dead? Okay, Sam. Um, yes, I think so. Uh, of course, there's lots of uh, different theories now that um, on the her grave, it didn't have the year that was covered. So people are saying, oh, that means she's not dead. Um, people aren't going to, people are either going to believe it or not believe it. I want B to be alive, but I don't think she is, but I would love nothing more than for her to show back up at the end of the season and either take Joan down or just be like, hey, how you going, everybody? <laughs> I mean, I would absolutely love for her to, to show back up again. Um, and a few people have said that maybe when uh, Maxine gets transferred to, to Barnhurst, um, you know, she'll, she'll walk in and, and, you know, B will just be sitting there. But I don't know, when you talk to everyone... Or, you know, when you hear everyone's interviews and things like that, they've all pretty much announced that that B's dead and Danielle's left the show. So um, we'll wait and see. 
what happened to Fletch from Lorraine. Fletch, they said, I think, didn't he go off to a farm? I think they mentioned that um, in the season one, uh, episode one of season four. So um, he, he got out while he could. Um, okay, so Kelly said probably because Kaz was part of organising it so she didn't want to get into trouble as well. Yeah, so that's probably true. But there's, like, there's, they've, they've got to say something. Like, there, isn't there a way that they can sort of say that's what they walked into? They saw that happening. They don't have to say that, Kaz, you know, Kaz doesn't have to say she was involved. Or Ali. Why can't Ali remember or say anything? Um, that that's what she saw when she came into it. I, I don't know. It just feels like they could have said something there. You know, anything to take B down. Uh, not B. Joan. God, not B. Um... No, she isn't dead, so yep, so um, obviously some people believe, some people don't. Um, it really bothers me on some of the Wentworth groups. Um, people really get kind of nasty and passionate about the fact that if bees are uh, dead or alive. So I think, you know, you believe what you want to believe. I'm happy to protect my, my emotions and say, yep, she's gone. And if she comes back, I'll be stoked. But I don't know. I, I just think she's gone. I think they they tried to well they've you know shock they've tried to shock us all. They maybe want to go a new direction, um, have different main characters. I don't know. Maybe just new different storylines to keep it fresh. Witness protection, yeah. So that was one of my original thoughts that um, maybe she was in witness protection. So I mean, who knows? She might be a surprise witness at you know, some trial or something. What is What was the Bridge the Gap project? So the Bridge the Gap project, um, Danielle Cormack, so B, she is patron for Bridge the Gap project. Um, now I have spoken about these, there's a question and answer I've done with Amanda, um, and I've also mentioned about Bridge the Gap in my last post, so I don't want to repeat too much, but Bridge the Gap, Amanda, um, Amanda, uh, runs um, and co-founded co Bridge the Gap. Danielle is patron and they do a bunch of programs um, to help youth help themselves basically. But go and check out their Facebook. There should be links within my, my Facebook page here um, or just go and check them out because you'll, you'll fall in love with everything that they're doing. It's just amazing. Um, if she wasn't dead, Tina, um, could they actually be trying to charge Joan with manslaughter or murder? Oh, if she wasn't dead. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that works. I'm no law person. Um, I don't, I don't know how that works. But then she, I guess maybe she'd come up as, a, come up as a witness for all the other crap that she's done. I don't know. Um, Christy gets back to work. Nah, just, just, you know, watch, watch this. It's better. Um, what scene do you like best from season four? Um, season four, I really liked all the B and Ally um, scenes. Uh, they, they just made a really nice love story that everyone fell in love with. And for Australian TV and two women, I think it was just really nice to see, you know, B really accept herself. You know, she was really questioning herself as to whether she was gay or not. And then the whole fuck the labels thing. So I, I liked that. Um, and I really liked their love scene because I thought that was that was brilliantly played by both the girls and obviously written well and it was directed well and all that. I think it was really nice. Um, Bee's dead. Frankie's maybe going to prison. I want to die. Leave Bridget alone. <laughs> well, I don't know. The trailer for the next episode looks like um, there's a little bit of Bridget trouble. So... Um, we'll wait and see what happens there. I'm really hoping that Frankie doesn't stay in prison if she goes in, whether it's, like I said um, earlier, you know, whether she comes out at the end of the season or in a couple of episodes. I just really don't want her to stay in prison. We didn't see a corpse. <laughs> okay. Again, you're going to believe or you're not going to believe. I don't, I don't know how much they need to try and tell us that Bee's dead before people believe it, so... Uh, what are they going to do, show a dead body? Um, I guess they kind of did with um, B laying on the, on the, um, in the car park with blood pooling around her. But um, you'll believe what you want to believe. So 
we'll wait and see what happens there. But, oh, look, I would love for her to come back in the season final. I reckon the freak will come become top dog, Abby. Um, I think she wants to be top dog, but I don't know how that works because... You know, what is, how, what is she, how is she going to be top dog? Is she, has she got to take down Kaz? Then is someone else going to fight her for it? Is that just going to be what, the, what it all is? Just everyone fighting for, for, for top dog? Um, but yeah, I know that. I'm pretty sure that's what she wants to do. What do I think about Bridget's new hair? Um, I actually don't mind the short hair. It took me a little second to sort of realise that's what was happening. But um, yeah, I don't mind the short hair. New hair. Um, how about Joan taking over B-Cell and B starts to haunt her? <laughs> Sarah. Well, that's one way I guess we could incorporate B back into um, Wentworth. Um, you know, Ghost B joins joins the cast. Um, do I think Ali will love again? Um, I think I answered this in the last one. I. It'll be nice to see her fall in love again. Preferably not with Frankie. But I think if they're going to do that, I hope they wait a while. I want her to really grieve B and move on. I don't want her to speak, just to move on because that, that would just annoy me because they made that love story too beautiful to, you know, just for her to move on so quickly. Um, how's Miss Murphy's form and Vera scapegoating her? She's got some freakish ways. Yeah, well, she learnt some of her ways from the freak, hasn't she, good old Vera? Um... It was it was very clever of her to um to to frame someone basically. Oh, sorry, here here's Ruby Dog. She's joining us. She's getting annoyed that I wasn't paying her attention. Um, yeah. So I think that just shows that Vera will do anything to protect herself. So, um, yeah, I think that's that's what's going to happen there. Um, it's funny how Maxine is going to the other prison. Way. Way back in July, Dan and Sox were the only two to be at Foxtel. I think they were maybe filming together. Oh, maybe. Um, I don't really know much about them being at Foxtel together, so not sure what happened there. Um, just trying to read some. Oh, yeah, so. Ruby, Kara's saying hello to you. Stop scratching yourself. Um, how did Kaz become top dog? Oh, so Kaz just getting beaten up by my dog here. Um, Kaz became top dog at the end of last season, just before B said to take care of them, or just at that time. Um, and she said, oh, so you've taken the position. And Kaz says she was drafted into it. So obviously they just decided that, um, you know, Kaz would, be the, Kaz would be the next top dog. Um, do I think Ali will take revenge over the freak? Yeah, so that's the whole plan, I think, is... I think that's probably what most of the season will be. Are you going or not, Ruby? Go on. No, it's okay. Oh, <laughs> just trying to get rid of it. She's trying to, you know, interrupt the live feed. Um, yeah. So will Ali take revenge? I. That's going to be the plan. I think throughout the season. But I don't know if it will be just Ali. Like I said, I think a few of them will try and take B down. Um, uh, B. What do I keep saying? B's on my mind. Well, um, she'll be the one to take Ali, uh, the freak down. Um, expect the unexpected. Yeah, yeah, I think, I mean, I think everyone's kind of expecting B to come in, so I don't know if that's the unexpected or not. Um, I'm just trying to read. Oh, so, um, so hoping Rita Connors comes into it this season and wonder who will play her. Yeah, so a few people have said about Rita Connors. Um, I, I said in my other Facebook Live, um, I didn't really watch Prisoner or anything, so don't really know too much about all of that. But, yeah, I think it would be good. Um, if they're going to sort of, you know, have that take on Prisoner, then um, it would be good. I'm pretty sure someone said that Rita was the one to take Joan down, so that would be good. I want to see more of Juice. I want more storylines for her and her crew. Yeah, I think she'll probably, um, you know, they're kind of they're kind of extra characters. They're not really you know, main storyline, so we'll wait and see. But it'll be nice to see a bit more of them. But it was only the first season, so we've only seen little bits and pieces of everyone so far. If you were an inmate, would you try to be top dog, and what would your rules be? Oh, God, no. No way. I don't want to be in charge of anything. Um, I would be the person just sort of hanging out in the background, just kind of watching everyone. I don't want to be involved in all that crap. 
I don't want to get killed. God, what are you trying to say? What do you, what do you want me to do, Sarah? Get killed? Um, what would my rules be? I would be a terrible top dog. I, d I don't think, I don't know. Because I wouldn't want violence either. Um, but I guess if they deserved it. I don't know. Can't, just, can't be just be top dog. I'm not a good in charge person. Um, Alright, Terry asks, I think Will and, oh, says, I think Will and Vera may pair up to take out the freak. They could end up behind bars if it all comes about how B really got out. Yeah, so um, that's the thing. All of them could end up behind bars. I'm sure Linda could end up behind bars for some reason or another. Will could, I'm sure, in his, all his dodgy behaviour. And we, uh, Will and um, Vera and, God, Jake could end up behind bars. So I guess it just depends on who gets away with what at the time. Frankie should totally hire Erica as her lawyer. Yes, I agree. Erica needs to come into it somehow. And I love that Nicole in the um, the Foxtel's um, interrogation, I love how she said that she wants, um, well, she, that Erica would be great to come back in. Um, and that she said that this, that story storyline would be ripe. So, yeah, I would love to see Erica pop in somehow. And it would be awesome if it was either that she hired her or, um, I don't know, maybe Erica finds out and Erica just approaches Frankie. That would be even better. Um, I, I reckon Frankie will become top dog now, says Tina. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I kind of want Frankie just to do her time and not get too involved and make more trouble for herself. But, um... Yeah, I think there was a, in the trailer, Boomer said something about that, you know, and now that's a real top dog. So, yeah, we'll wait and see what her, where her behaviour goes with all that. Uh, okay, so Dan says, I think Frankie will be sad and down, rightfully so, for a few episodes, but then we'll rise to the top and take charge again. Yeah, so, I, I don't know, we'll wait and see. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how these, face, like, you know, some of the theories and thoughts that we say it will come up with now will change throughout the season. Um, I think Joan will really provoke Frankie as much as possible to to get that, you know, um, that feistiness of, of Frankie come out. Um, but, yeah, I think that will happen. Um, and take charge again. Yeah, so, I mean, it kind of makes sense, doesn't it? It's kind of predictable, though. And I had written something around here about um, how some of the things were predictable and I remember there was a lot of thoughts and theories throughout the, you know, the season break that Frankie would end up back in jail or Frankie would be caught with the gun. And the stalker, I totally, I assumed that the stalker was her dad, you know, in the car because that's what we said. So it was kind of cool how they put that little, planted that seed at the, you know, beginning of last season um, and didn't, it didn't play out till now. But yeah, so I think that, storyline there could have been more so we could have seen more of the stalker um throughout this whole episode one and then him bump into her episode two i think that would have been good but being only a 12 episode season i guess they condense so much in um what was ali looking for in b's cell on the wall um anastasia um i assume she was looking for the screwdriver hole where she was hiding the screwdriver. A lot of people on Facebook were like, oh, but, you know, how would she have known about it? You know, we never see, see B put it there. We never see her tell Ali about it. But I think, you know, we're not going to see every moment of their lives in the prison. So I'm going to assume that Ali knew about the screwdriver, but we didn't see her know about it. Um, but then that's also showing Ali that, well, someone has covered that up and nothing has come out about this screwdriver either. So, yeah, that could get Vera into trouble. I'm assuming that Vera saw the hole, we saw that, and then re replaced the board. So, is that going to get Vera into some trouble as well? How did the freak learn to fight so well? Yeah, so I think I said that just before. So, she would have had some pretty serious training being a um, prison guard. Do I think that she could have taken all of those prisoners down like that? Like, all going her at the same time? No, I think that was a bit silly. Um... But, you know, she would have had to have known some pretty good moves being a, being a, a um, you know, a guard. And, you know, she knew how to move her feet around and whatnot for, you know, being a fencing um, player, person, however, whatever it is. Um, yeah, so I think that. 
that's how she would have learned how to fight so well. Do I think Dorian will try to and escape prison? Uh, I think someone said that in prisoner Dorian and Frankie escape. Um, I don't have any reason to think now that Frankie, uh, that sorry, that Dorian will try to escape. But we'll wait and see. I guess it depends on we haven't didn't hear anything about. Did we hear anything about Nash and Joshua this episode? I don't think so. Um, so we we'll wait and see how that progresses throughout the season. Um. She made it clear when she was in there last that she doesn't want that anymore, Terry. Is that in regards to Frankie? Because, um, yeah, I, I, I have to agree. So that's why I'm sad that she's possibly, well, she'll be back in. I'm, I'm upset that she's back in because we see Frankie develop so much in season three and how much she, um, you know, learns about herself and all that, I just said before. Um, yeah, I just don't, I just don't want Frankie back in and I don't want her to lose that hope, you know, um, Bridget said, um, you know, or well, Frankie said, um, that could have been me. And she goes, no, but you, you never lost hope or whatever. And I think that's true. That's how Frankie ended up out. B had lost all hope. That's why she, you know, ended up getting stabbed, or stabbing herself essentially to start with. She'd lost all hope. So I think that's, um, I hope that Frankie doesn't lose hope and she, lasts throughout the season and gets it back out again. Um, oh, sorry, dropping my phone. All right, Jacqueline. Um, fuck, marry, kill out of Ali, B and Frankie. Uh, I think I had a very similar question to that last time. Thanks, Jacqueline. I think you should tell me your answer. Um, okay, so oh, I'd have to kill Ali <laughs> because I prefer prefer B and Frankie. Um, I would kill Frankie <laughs> and I would marry B because then she's my wife and we get to do it all the time. But thanks for that awesome question. Um, what do you think will happen to Bridget? They're going to find out about her relationship with Frankie. Will Bridget survive? Um... Well, there's nothing to say necessarily that they will find out about their relationship yet. But um, I think Frigid may survive if Frankie sorts herself out. Um, I don't know. That's another one that we're going to have to wait and see how it progresses throughout the season. Um, what would I like to see happen in the last episode? Well, of course I would love to see um, B come back. But I don't think that will happen. Um... Depends on where they're sort of going with season six and what characters come out throughout the season this season, um, you know, come up. But I'd really like B to, um, God, I keep saying that. I really, really would like um, the freak to, to, you know, be taken down. So, um, but yeah, I don't know when, what then that does for season six. So we'll wait and see what, um, you know, who, who comes into this season. Um... How would Vera replace the board without being seen by someone? Oh, I don't know. It's the magic of TV, Catherine. Um, I don't know. Maybe she did it on the sly while everyone was asleep. How come Frank, How come Joan gets away with half the stuff that she's done? So, I don't know. There would have been a way. Maybe she got Jake to do it somehow. Um, Sarah, do you remember seeing the paper clipping on Kaz's wall about two people getting killed in a car crash? Do you think it's related to Sonia? Um, I do vaguely remember seeing that, but um, I don't know how it'd be related to Sonia. But who knows? Wentworth can drop some subtle hits, hints here and there, so um, possibly. Um, um, I also think that Kaz's no violent stance will set, uh, need to end in order to for her to maintain some sense of power. Um, from Dan. Uh, yeah, because I don't think it's going to last. Like, like I said, you know, um, if there's no punishment for them, you know, being violent, then how's that? That's not going to help anyone. It's not going to work. Um, I've broken up fights in school when adrenaline, adre adrenaline hits. I've seen 18 year old boys whip five guys. Oh yeah. I'm not saying that it's not possible. I just, I personally would have just really liked to see Joan at least get one big fat smack to the head with that ball. Um, and then take everyone down. That's fine. You know, 
we can't have her dying in the first episode, then what would the rest of the season be about? Um, I just would have liked to have seen a couple more brutal hits for her. Um, and then take the rest down. That's fine. Um, what does the future hold for Ali? I wonder... It depends on how quickly they move the season, I think. It would make sense for her to get back into drugs, but I don't know if they'll go there or not because she promised B that she wouldn't touch drugs ever again. But it kind of makes sense that she would relapse and I think then she'll just want revenge. So I think she'll then just be hellbent on revenge um, to take down Joan. Um, hopefully Doreen escapes and never returns. So I don't know, maybe she ends up over here in Perth um, hanging out. No way she... Okay, so June. No way she could fight off all those prisoners with a badly scolded hand. Maybe adrenaline kicked in, and and yeah, that's how she um, that's how she took everyone down. Kaz is to blame for all of this. Oh, well, Will could have just left her burning in the fire. So, I guess everyone's a little bit to blame for all of this. Oh, sorry. Okay, sorry about that. Um, okay. Um, sorry. There's so many questions. I'm worried about Mike's pictures of the two of them. Um, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see if anything comes up with Mike. So we're assuming someone's killed him. I'm assuming he's killed himself. But has he, what, has he gotten rid of that creepy Frankie blow-up doll thing? Um, what about all those photos? Like, how did that happen, like, within a day, what he... Well, you know, he got rid of everything and then now Frankie's all of a sudden arrested already. That just happened way too quickly. We saw his creepy Frankie wall. I mean, that rivaled some of the the Frankie fans out there. <laughs> and some of the Wentworth fans. I've seen some of those walls. You can't get rid of that in three seconds. Um, okay. Kara, she says a lot. Yep, thanks, Amber. Sometimes I don't shut up. Um, I have the nickname at work, Chatterbox, at the moment. Um, okay, sorry, I'm just scrolling through some of these questions. Kaz's rule will drop surely. I can't wait for her terrifying twist. Yeah, I really want to see... I, I just want to see more from Kaz. I want to see her more than just the angry outbursts. Um, I, I just love Kaz, so I just want to see more from her. Who would I like to see top dog? I don't mind for Kaz to say it top dog. Um, yeah, no, I think to be fun, I think it would just I'd love to see Boomer as top dog. She'd just want to punch everyone's tits in. Um, am I crazy to still hold on hope that B is in witness protection? Um, I don't think you're crazy. I just think that you love B as well. But I just, like I said, I'm protecting myself, assuming she's gone. Um, it's so frustrating watching Vera play into Jake's hands. Soon enough she'll see through him, don't you think? I hope she does, but she is so naive and she wants to see the best in him because she he shows her that love and attention that, he, that she wants and needs. So um, I think that's why she can't see any of that yet. But again, I think as we revisit all of this throughout the season, we're going to see so much more progress. So it'll be interesting to... to it'll actually be interesting to... Um, sort of ask these questions throughout the season because it'll slowly change as we go. Ali for top dog. Um, well, I th that's another predictable storyline. I think there's been so many predictable storylines already that, that would, that's just another one. Of course, we're going to assume that she's going to be top dog. I think she can take down Joan or be part of taking down Joan without being top dog. I don't think she needs to be top dog. Kind of like B didn't really need to be top dog, but kind of like fell into it almost um, because she needed to do that whole fight to, um, you know, take down Frankie in the laundry, but only because she wanted to end up in the hospital. 
I, I can't remember all of that. Anyway. Um, okay. Um, sorry, I'm just going to go through before. What's the, How long have I been going for? Okay, so we've only got about 15 more minutes left, okay? Um, I want to see more of Ali's backstory, says Jen. I think it'd be nice to see a bit of Ali's backstory too. Um, I guess we kind of, like I know on the showcase website it sort of said more about her. Um, and in the, was it the, the, the slot scene where B and Ali were in there together, um, I think that, um, you know, showed a bit of her backstory. But it would be interesting to see a bit more of hers. Um, all right, I'm just going to do a couple more questions at the moment. What do I think of this Dana, I don't know how to say the last name, Mal Malou, Malouf, Malouf, new character? Um, yeah, I guess we'll just wait and see what happens throughout the season. Um, whether, you know, maybe she's, I saw her sitting at the red right hand table. So let's just assume that she's um, part of the red right hand crew at the moment. Um, and we'll see what happens throughout the season with her. Um, but yeah, no, I think she'll be one to keep an eye on. Um, Ferguson will go after Frankie for her stopping shame. Oh, I think Ferguson will just go over Frank, go after Frankie because she can. Um, she's of course she's going to have it in for Frankie. Actually, it'll be interesting to see if Shane comes back out throughout the season um, at all. So that will be interesting to see. Um, so a couple of other things I wanted to talk about. I've answered a few questions. Um, so. I wanted to talk about the um, the interrogation um, the interrogation room. So I just sort of wanted to see, and happy for you guys to sort of answer as you go or ask. Um, so if the Wentworth rat was watching this and say reporting back to the interrogation room, what kind? Who would you want to see on the interrogation room? So I'd love to see who you guys would like to see. I would really like to see um, Tammy McIntosh because um, we didn't get to see her last season. So I think it'd be nice to see her do one. And I would really like to see Pamela because I think, like, Pamela's not on social media, so it would be kind of nice for her to know how much, as an actress, she is loved. Hopefully fans aren't stupid crazy um, and scare her off. But I think Pamela Rabe would be interesting. Um, so yeah, that would be my top two to see. I'm trying to think of who else, because I think we saw most of the other characters last time, didn't we? Or maybe Sonia. Sonia would be a good one. Tammy with Jenko. Yeah, I'd love to see those two together because I think they love each other so much. It'd be really nice to to see the two of them together. Um, and what kind of I just kind of, I'm sort of interested in knowing like what sort of questions that you'd like to to for them to ask. I really, really, I really liked the, um, innocent and guilty game that they did. I think, um, a few people were a bit annoyed, I think, from what I could see with the interrogation room. But you guys have got to remember it wasn't, um, a live Q&A. So last season they did the live Q&A. This season I think they're trying to do something different. If we're going to have the same characters or the same cast again, well, people are just going to ask all the same questions. You know, is B alive? What was it like to work with, insert star here? Um, what was it like to work with Danielle? You know, all the same questions are going to be asked. So I think, um, you know, like I said, if the Wentworth rat was watching this and looking back at these comments and reporting back to the interrogator, maybe you guys could write what sort of questions you would like to be uh, them to be asked. Um, and yeah, just a bit of feedback. So I'm just interested as well what you guys think. Um, yes, the actor did change. I, yeah, it was probably due to the actor's availability, Della. Um, yeah, so we just touched on that before, that Mike was played by a different actor. And that, yeah, that really bothered me too. But maybe he was just severely disfigured with the, um, the hot oil. So that's why he looked so different. Um, yeah, so anyway, so back to the interrogation room. I really enjoyed it. I liked the fact that they sort of had pre-asked questions and then did that game. So I'd like to see sort of more of that. Um, and I, 
yeah, I, I really like the games. So that was cool because otherwise I find that the, the, you know, just watching all the, the comments of the questions, you know, people are wanting shout outs for their certain group or whatever or people are, you know, I just think some of the questions just get constantly asked so it's nice to see something a bit different. Do I think Ali will end up in a mental hospital? Um, I don't think so at the moment. Um, n not at the moment. I don't, I don't think so. Um, what else was I going to mention? Oh, I wanted to know if anyone had been talking to the Wentworth rat. Um, speaking of interrogation and the rat. Um, and what your thoughts are on this Wentworth rat. That keeps um, popping up on our Facebook messenger. Oh, what about some of the writing team for the interrogation? Yeah, that would be pretty cool. So maybe they could have one of the writers or both, of, you know, or a couple, um, or even some of the crew. It'd be interesting to hear direct, you know, like, you know, to have like maybe a makeup artist and, you know, one of the writers or something, and you know, sort of even how they collaborate together, um, you know, to, to produce this great show. Um, Terry, I'd like to know what Rabe channeled when she went completely psycho. She scared, scared the life out of me. I, I think that just shows what an amazing um, actress she is. Um, the Wentworth rat has so much attitude. Yes, I got a message today. and I, I posted it on my Insta story and I can't remember what, um, what it said now. But it asked me something. Then it told me to basically to bugger her off. And then it asked me something again. And it told me to leave it alone. Like, I was just like, well, hang on a minute. You approached me, Wentworth, right? Um, no, I like it. I like the, it's got a bit of, um, a bit of feistiness. Um, and so I'm really enjoying when, when it's on, well, when it starts chatting, I like that we get, you know, a couple of the gifts and a couple of, um, the, you know, there's like little videos and stuff. So I think I'd like to see more of that from the Wentworth, right? Yes, Jacqueline, chill the fuck out. I'll reply when I can. <laughs> if only I could reply to everyone's um, messages like the Wentworth Rat. Um, okay, if you want to sign up to the Wentworth Rat, I believe there should be a link within my page somewhere. Um, and there's if you go to the Showcase website, they'll, they'll have that. as It'll be on there as well. Um, so that's how you sign up to the Rat. I like the Rat too. Yeah, I just think it's a bit, it's just a bit of fun. You know, you don't have to reply to it if you don't have time and, you know, it just sort of comes and goes and or drops you a little, you know, something. But she, um, well, she, he, it, said that it had some information on Frankie and I haven't heard anything from it. Um, is it on your Twitter? It could possibly be on my Twitter. It'll be somewhere. Um, yeah, oh yeah, just search the Wentworth route on Facebook. Um, it just, and then it just sort of makes, it pops up a, um, like on your messenger. Do you think the freak will kill Ali? Um, I hope, I kind of hope not. I don't really want to see Ali die. And I, I don't think we need to see Joan kill more people. Um, but there's so many, there's a few storylines that we've sort of seen over and over. So we'll wait and see. Um, sometimes you can message the rat to get info. Yeah, yeah. So sometimes if you're, sometimes if I've been a bit bored, I've just sort of said hi and it'll get talking. But, um, yeah, no. So I like the Wentworth rat. Um, is there anything that you'd like to see from the Wentworth rat? I would like to see sort of a few more, like, clues or, um, you know, just some extra photos or something from, not behind the scenes, but, you know, like, I don't know, a picture of a cell or something with, you know, like a little clue for the next next episode. Will Vera be able to charge Joan for the hot shot? Um, again, I think that's something we're just going to have to find out how that progresses throughout the season um, and what happens there. Um, let me just see if I had written any other notes. Oh, yeah, so a few people had asked sort of what had... Um, nothing was really clear what's going to happen with Boomer yet this season either. You know, last season she just really wanted the baby. So it'll be interesting to see where Boomer goes this season. I think with Frankie back in the prison, at least Frank, at least Boomer will have that friendship if Maxine is being transferred. So I guess they kind of had to put Frankie back in this season to fill that void of B gone and Maxine being transferred. Um, yeah, I'm just I don't know I don't know. 
we'll wait and see what happens throughout the season. And I look forward to doing, trying to do these um, Facebook Lives every week just to sort of see what you guys are thinking. And I, I really enjoy, so I spend a lot of time on social media. So I really like going through everyone's um, thoughts and their theories for the episodes and the season and what's going to happen. So, yeah, definitely keep going with all your theories and everything on, like, on my posts. So I, I do try to read them where I can. Um, will Vera lose her job? Um, Alice. She definitely could, and it kind of makes sense for her no longer to be governor throughout the season at some point. Um, I don't want to see Jake as governor. Wouldn't it be good to see Fletcher finally come back as and be governor or Erica come back? Um, or maybe just a new whole new governor. That would be good. Um, now, the only other thing I wanted to talk about as well, so two, two more things really. So surprisingly, no one's really complained yet about spoilers on my page, which is awesome. I think I've tried to give you guys enough warning. Um, but there will definitely be spoilers on this page. So don't get shirty. I live in Australia. Um, that's just what happens. Um, for years and years, we've missed out or receive, you know, spoilers from shows from other countries. Or God, I live on the west coast, so even just from the east coast, I'm used to spoilers. So, but um, I just want to say thank you for not getting too shirty at me for posting spoilers. Um, and the other thing was I have said before I don't condone watching this online when this online of course don't condone watching Wentworth online if you're going to watch it please please get Foxtel um, or you can get Foxtel play the first episode is actually available to watch free on the showcase website so get on that if you live on Australia in Australia sorry for those that don't I don't think it actually works for you guys um, but that's one way to really support the, the show. So please watch it um, legally. And I have made a post on this before, on my, on my page before. Anyone that comments and especially spams my, you know, the comment section with links um, and, you know, watch it this way legally, watch it that way, they're going to get deleted. I'm going to delete those comments um, when I can. Um, and if I see people constantly doing it, I'm just going to ban. I'm just going to ban you because I support this show um, by doing all of this. I do all this for free um, because I love the show and I know you guys love the show. Um, so I, I just can't be the person that's going to, um, you know, share links around for you guys to watch it illegally. So do what you got to do, but I can't encourage that. And please do the right thing by the cast and the, you know, everyone that works on it. Can't watch it legally in the US. We have to watch it online. Uh, hopefully it will be on Netflix pretty much the day after. I think last time it was the day after season four aired. So, yeah. So, exactly. No ratings, no show. Um, the ratings dropped. I think someone said oh, it was a significant drop from the season four episode one ratings to, you know, Tuesday's ratings. It dropped quite a bit. So, whether that's to do with online piracy, I'm not sure. Whether it's because B was written off it could be a reason too but yeah if the, if the show doesn't keep ratings up then Foxtel don't have to produce it so they may not so yeah so what's the time you've got one more minute so I can take on any last minute questions um, otherwise I'm pretty much ready for bed if you can't tell by my eyes hanging out so spare out Canada in May yeah so I don't I don't really know um, the the dates of anything. So when people ask me when are they, when is it coming out into their country, I'm not sure. As soon as I know, I let you guys know. So um, I I can't tell you when it's going to come out in America yet. I can't tell you when it will come out in New Zealand or UK um, or anywhere. Just as soon as I know, I'll promise I'll let you guys know. Uh, I love you too, Kara. Soul Tribe Eleven. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to log off now and go to bed because I've had a couple of late nights on my Wentworth high. So thanks everyone. Um, keep an eye out for the next one. Okay. And thank you, Cara for, and Tina for getting up nice and early. Love you guys. Bye.